Hi guys, welcome to Agla Sun. Uh, yesterday I had uploaded a video in which we talked about the upcoming GATE 2021 response sheet and answer key. In that I had mentioned that today, that is 17th Feb, is the expected date for the response sheet. Now, uh, at the time of recording this video at least, the response sheet has not been released. This is 7.30 pm in the evening. Now, see, uh, I know that there are questions on how we think that the response sheet would be out on 17th Feb or 18th Feb. So, a lot of people are saying that it will be out on 18th Feb and also that the answer key would be out by 20th Feb. So first of all, I'd like to clarify the confusion on how the dates are coming up. See, first of all, you should know that the official website is gate.iitb.ac.in and as soon as the answer key and the response sheet are out, there'll be an announcement here, right? And we'll also be obviously updating those announcements on Aglasim and we'll be explaining on how to go ahead after the answer keys and response sheet are out. Now, when we talk about the dates, officially the important dates of GATE are at this place on the important date uh, page. Now, here they have not mentioned anything about when the response sheet or the answer keys would be out. So, the process of arriving at an expected date is to go by the past year trends. Now, last year, the response sheet had come out exactly three days after the last exam date. What I mean by the last exam date is that gate is held over number of days, right? So, this year it was held on 6, 7 and then 13 and 14. So, if we calculate, you know, three days after the last exam date, then that would be 17 Feb. And logically speaking, every year the trends of, you know, any sort of announcement, whether it be especially post exam announcements, whether it be for response sheets or answer keys or results, the time period have been shortened simply because of, you know, advancement in technology, advancement in the processes and so on. So, uh, because last year IIT Delhi had conducted GATE and it had released the response sheet within three days of the exam, it was highly expected that this year IIT Bombay would follow suit and also do the same. So, simply speaking, that we were expecting that IIT Bombay would be as fast as IIT Delhi in releasing the response sheets. However, not releasing the response sheet today does not mean that IT Bombay has been slow or there is a lag in process. No, there could be one or two days differences for different reason. Especially, you know, this year uh, all the processes have been further streamlined and there have been more, uh, you know, you can say more... Uh, uh, changes in the processes due to the pandemic. So yes, maybe if not 17th Feb, maybe the response sheet would be out on 18th Feb, that is tomorrow, or it could even be 19th Feb. You don't have to panic about the situation or you don't also have to worry. In fact, we were thinking of having a live stream today in which, you know, we would be explaining more on the response sheet and maybe have a live uh, one to one where we could be waiting for the response sheet with you guys. But then we understand that, you know, uh, it is better that you focus your energies right now on other things. Maybe you have other exams that you have to prepare for. In fact, you can comment down below that as a gate aspirant, are you also preparing for any other exam or are you appearing for any other exam? Maybe you're appearing for any other MTech entrance exam or maybe you're appearing for any other, you know, government job exam because a lot of you are in gate only for PSEO recruitment as well. So that aside, so dates aside, see dates is something which only IIT Bombay knows, you know, what is the date on which it is going to release the response sheet. As, uh, as people who are, you know, here to help you out in the processes, we can only predict and look at what the media is saying. But I can tell you one thing for sure that uh, when it comes to gate exam, IITs you do usually do not tell media, uh, you know, dates in advance. So I, any date that is there for gate is either there on the website or have been given in the media or by us websites or content creators based on the past year trends. When we talk about a state level MTech entrance exam, usually the exam conducting body gives dates, you know, in advance to the media, but it does not happen in the case of gate. So you do not have to panic, you know, X newspaper is saying that this is going to happen today or Y website is saying this or Z YouTuber is saying that. Anything that happens in gate is there on the official website. I am here to help you in understanding what to expect next and how you can be prepared. 
with that said when we talked about the response sheet even we received a few questions and i have been going through other videos and other websites so uh, we i can see that there are certain questions in the minds of some candidates about the response sheet and the answer key so one of the questions was that would it be available for all of them or would it be only for a, a few papers or something then uh, be rest assured that the response sheet will be released for all the papers so whether you were in the civil uh, mechanical computer science bt or any of the 27 subject papers you will be getting the response sheet another confusion was that a lot of you don't know what exactly a response sheet means so for that i would like to show you exactly how the response sheet was released last time and what it means so see when you will log in you will see a link that says view response maybe i can right so you will see something that says view response then in that case when you click it this sort of a thing will open where you will see what was the question what were the options and what was the option chosen by you so this is the response sheet the response sheet it is also referred to as just recorded responses it means that it will show you what are the answers that you had selected in your paper now the purpose of releasing a response sheet is so that uh, you know it increases uh, the level of transparency in the whole examination process and you as a candidate you are rest assured that the answers you had chosen only they are marked and there is no you know fallacy whether it be from a human error point of view or a computer error point of view the third question that i uh, saw a lot of you were asking was that how is response sheet going to help me in uh, calculating my marks now this is something that you should really take note of the response sheet download window will be limited and the response sheet download window will close before the answer key download window opens so the response sheet window will be only for a few days in which you must download your response sheet and save the pdf file why because when officially the answer keys will release then you will no longer be able to download the response sheet at least that is what has happened in the past few years that is why i have been stressing so much on you know the pre response sheet announcement that you know be ready to download the response sheet because every year what happens is that when the answer key releases the candidates go berserk saying that oh i forgot to download my response sheet now how will i match my answers with the answer key so please be aware that the response sheet download window is going to open very soon it could be today or tomorrow but i don't think it will be later than that and once that happen download it and save it now when you are getting the response sheet you are not seeing the answers at this moment you can only have the answer keys which are unofficial so even on agla sem on this uh, gate answer key page we have provided for all the subjects we have not just given for you know the popular subjects or anything like that we have given the answer keys for all the subjects that have been available we have curated from different places so whether you are somebody who had given the xc paper or the excel paper or cs or mt or any paper just come to this page and see whether your answer key is available and when the response sheet releases you can compare with the unofficial answer key but very soon iit bombay will also release the official answer key the official answer key will not be through a login or anything there will simply be pdf files with the master question paper and answer key and once that happens you will have the exact idea of the marks you are going to get in the exam right so you have the answers you have marked you have the actual answers and therefore you can match the number of correct answers and the incorrect answers and obviously the unattempted questions now the next step would be calculation of scores i think i'll have to release a whole separate video on the calculation of scores and we are also in the process of publishing an article on that but i'll give you a very quick idea of how you can calculate your scores so if you open the gate 2021 information brochure there is this whole section on calculation of gate scores now in this there is something called normalization also but the good thing is that the normalization is only applicable for those papers where the paper was held on multiple days or sessions and as you already know that the multiple session papers were only three one was civil engineering the other was computer science and the third was mechanical so if you are a student who has appeared in either civil computers or mechanical your marks will also undergo normalization so to calculate your score you will have to do three things 
First of all, calculate your raw score on the basis of your response sheet and answer key. That is simply speaking, match the number of correct answers in your response sheet against the answer key and see how many are correct, which are incorrect. Uh, use the marking scheme. Some of the questions are of one mark, some are of two marks. Uh, accordingly, some have other negative marking, some have some other negative marking. In the multiple select type questions, there is a different negative marking scheme. In the numerical type, there's a different marking scheme. So according to the marking scheme, calculate your raw score. The second, uh, the second step is calculation of the normalized score. Now, honestly speaking, you cannot calculate the normalized score. Uh, for the normalized score data, you need to know the marks of all the students who have taken part in, you know, your paper. So I really don't think you can calculate a normalized score. Even if you're coming across, you know, gate score calculators and all that on the internet, they are not going to give you a very accurate idea because nobody in the world except IIT Bombay has the actual data of what marks are being scored by what student. So the third step would be the gate score calculation. Now you will say that how can I calculate the gate score if I can't even complete the second score? I would say assume that there is no normalization in your paper and then go ahead and get a rough idea of your gate score. Now as a gate student, uh, this particular score calculation should be easy for you. Why? Because it's a simple formula. So IIT Bombay says, and this has this is the score formula that has been followed in all the gate papers in the past year as well. It's a simple formula that says your gate score will be equal to SQ plus ST minus SQ multiplied by M minus MQ upon MT bar minus MQ. And don't worry about what are these SQ, ST, M, MQ, MT, M, uh, MT bar and MQ because all that has been explained here. M in this formula represents the marks that has been scored by you. If it is a, a paper where there were only one session, then it's simply the raw score that you calculated. And if there was a multi-session papers, then the normalized score. So like I said, you can't calculate the normalized score. So just go ahead with your raw score. MQ is the qualifying marks for general category candidate in that paper. Now the actual data for this particular thing will also only be available when the result is out. But you can, you know, assume what the qualifying marks are going to be based on what is given here. So MQ is either going to be 25 or it is going to be a sum of mu and sigma where mu and sigma standard deviation of the marks of the candidates who have appeared. So even forget this. Isko bhool jao. Why? You, you can't calculate mu plus sigma. What you can do is look at the past year cutoff marks. So at Aglasm we have also given uh, what were the cutoff marks last year. In this table, check against your paper what was the cutoff marks of the general candidate last year. So say more or less the cutoff marks have a, a predictable trend. So if it was say 35 last year, I don't think it will really go off to 45. Yes, it could be 32, 36, but you will get a general idea that should I input 25 in the formula or should I input something which is higher. So say for example, uh, a paper like uh, geophysics had a very high cutoff like 51, but a paper like BM had a cutoff of only 25. So you will know that in this formula, what should you input in the place of MQ? Right. So to know what to input in the place of MQ, look at the past year cutoffs. Now the third thing is MT bar, which is the mean of marks of top 0.1% or top 10 candidates who appeared in the paper. Again, this is a data which is neither in your hands nor in the hands of any gate score calculator available on the internet. But again, what you can do is Google the marks of the topper of your uh, paper last year. So usually in papers like civil mechanical, the scores are above 80 or 70. In some papers, the marks of the top 0.1% uh, students is around 50, 60. So it depends on how difficult the paper was, what is the average you know, performance of the students in that paper and so on. So to know what to input in empty bar, just put in that number or somewhere near to that number of the topper of your paper last year. SQ they have given directly use 350 in SQ and for ST use 900. So when you're calculating the score in place of SQ write 350 in place of ST write 900. 
again sq write 350 and then these in m you have to write the raw score that you are calculating as per your response sheet and answer key in mq you should write the cutoff marks of last year for your categories general sorry for your papers general category candidate cutoff in mt bar you should write somewhere around the marks of the topper of your paper last year and in mq again write the cutoff mark of last year so this is how you will be able to calculate your gate score using the response sheet and answer key now once again before i sign off i'd like to repeat that the response sheet and answer key both are expected to be out very soon the response sheet will be out first probably today or tomorrow and after two or three days the answer keys will be released but in the meantime you can also check the unofficial answer keys which are already available on aglasm and if you have any question please do ask in comments below and like i said in the video earlier do let me know in comments below what are the other papers that you are preparing for so that i have an idea of what else we can tell you about how better to inform you and whether there is any other thing that you would like us to discuss so that's all guys thank you so much bye bye and best of luck for your gate results do like share and comment and subscribe to the channel